Welcome again, ladies and gentlemen, to yet another training video. As you can see here, I'm actually am deciding today to actually go live with the weight and get more reps in and keep time and attention. So I'm actually doing dumbbell flat bench press for as many reps as I can get in for a four minute time range. And it's just you pretty much pick a weight that you know you can get for 20 reps easily with the first time around. And I kind of fell with this, only got about 15 reps first time. But of course, the way this program works, you pretty much put the dumbbells down when you can't get them any more reps. Take a few minutes, sorry, a few seconds to rest. I got two to a 10 count, pick the dumbbells back up and keep going. So I'm doing dumbbell flat, I went right to the incline. This time I was a little bit worse with the weight. So with this, I actually was successfully able to get 20 reps in the first time, about 16, 17, the next few, and then about 12 and 10, and then made five sets, then of course the timer went off on me as you are here in a few seconds. Okay, then decided to go ahead and give the press movements a rest. I'm gonna ride the dumbbell flies, and of course here the same rules apply, where I try to get as many reps in as humanly possible within a four minute interval. And I was like, you know, let me just use the same model that I do on a regular daily basis because I go high reps in this anyway. I to get the dumbbells to rest, and right now I'm doing something known as just stand push up. And if it looks like I'm in a boot camp, yeah, it looks like I'm in a boot camp. And speaking of boot camps, I actually will be teaching the fitness boot camps at UB Mercy's Fitness Center if you're a member there starting this week, Friday at 4 p.m. So if you're in the area, please stop by. And from there, I decided to go ahead and do a push for four minutes straight with the band. I'm now doing decline standing chest press. We're just band four minutes straight. You can see here, it's kind of difficult to kind of get your balance. Once you get your balance, you really do get a really good pump in your lower part of your chest. Likewise, the hitting the lower part of your chest and not going to the upper part by doing something known as dual point incline chest press. This is band. So basically, with this exercise, you pretty much grab the ankle straps, put them to your bicep. As one anchor point, put a lower resistance band on there, and then of course, grab a hair resistance band with the handle. So now you have two points of resistance because you got press with one from your hands and then one right from your bicep area, and it's really tears to your muscles like crazy up part of your chest. Likewise, I decided to go ahead and do an unset of first grip standing chest press, and this is basically once I'm doing the failure to pretty much finish off. The muscle I have right down part of the chest, as you can see here, it really works the upper and inner part of the chest as you're doing it. And likewise, you can do the same exercise at the gym in the cross scale machine. So after doing that, I decided to go ahead and do some one arm chest flies, the one arm chest press, or so say side presses. As you can see here, I kind of got it going from a lower anchor point to give it more of an incline feel to it. Okay, so all of that, my chest is basically completely blown out. So right now, I'm actually doing resistance band, try some push downs for four minutes straight. Likewise, this is followed up with a set of overhead tries to extension with resistance bands until failure. Likewise, it's all it's finished off this workout with cardio and abs. Not gonna show you the cardio because it's too boring. But anyway, I actually will also be doing an abs test at U of D Mercy for people that are in the area and also UDM members and faculty starting next week at 6 p.m. All right, until next time, everybody. Peace out.